Hi everyone, and welcome back to Mass Pina Math Dali, together with your mathematics teacher, Sir Vince. So last time, we had already discussed what is arithmetic sequence, we defined what is arithmetic sequence, and we solve problems involving arithmetic sequence. We find the first term, we find the common difference, the n, and so much more. And kung ikaw mismo nagtry ka na isolve yun try for yourself, sana by this time you know how to solve arithmetic sequences. Ano bang mahalaga ulit? Dapat alam mo yung given, alam mo yung hinahanap, at alam mo yung formula to be used. Kapag yun na master mo, be basic mo na lang yung mga next lesson. Okay? So I hope na master na arithmetic sequence so we can move forward with our next lesson which is the arithmetic means. So, ano ba kapag sinabing arithmetic means? So, in definition, we have arithmetic means are terms between two non-consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence. So, ito pala ay mga numbers na nasa loob ng dalawang hindi magkasunod na terms. So, halimbawa, meron ka daw given na a sub 1 tsaka a sub 5. Diba? So, meron ka limang term. Yung a sub 1 tsaka a sub 5. Yung number sa loob nun, yun yung tinatawag na arithmetic means. These are numbers or terms between two non-consecutive terms. Diba? Si 1 tsaka si 5, they are non-consecutive hindi sila magkasunod. So, yung mga numbers sa loob nila is what we call arithmetic means. So, ngayon, paano ba mag-solve ng arithmetic means? Halimbawa, given si a sub 1 tsaka si a sub 5, paano mo hahanapin yung tatlong nasa loob nila? So, hahanapin natin yon today. So, let us have our first example. So, based on the example, sabi, insert 3 arithmetic means between 6 and 30. So, imagine you have number 6 and you have number 30. So, you have the two numbers. And then, you need to insert 3 arithmetic means. So, kung given yung 6 tsaka 30, maglalagay ka daw ng tatlong numbers sa gitna nila. So, ito yung tura niya. So, we have 6 as the first term, and 30 as our last term. Tapos, meron kang tatlong numbers sa loob. Yung tatlong yan, yung naka-underline, yan yung ating hahanapin, at ang tawag sa kanila is arithmetic means. So, paano ba mag-solve ng arithmetic means? So, una, dapat alam mo yung first term, tsaka yung last term. So, basically, dito, we know the first term. That's 6. Siya yung a sub 1. But, what is 30? So, if we could name everyone doon sa ating terms, okay, we can write as a sub 1 is equal to 6. Ang hinahanap is a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. And then, our a sub 5 is 30. So, I just name everyone doon sa sequence para mas magets mo mamaya. So, ano bang next gagawin? Bakit ko nalagyan ng pangalan? Kasi mamaya, mahalaga na alam mo yung tawag kay 6 tsaka kay 30. Okay? So, next step is to write the given. So, ano ba yung given? So, meron ka daw na a sub 1 na equal to 6 and a sub 5 na equal to 30. So, now, ano yung hinahanap natin sa problem? Hinahanap yung arithmetic means. Basically, pag hinahanap yung kasunod mo, so halimbawa, ako si number 6, hinahanap yung kasunod ko. So, ano yung dapat i-add sa akin para makuha yung kasunod kong number? So, yung konseptong yon pumapasok si letter D, which is the common difference. So, paano ba kinukuha si common difference? We have this formula na a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. Now, sir, meron tayong a sub 1. 
But wala ako nakikita ng A sub N tsaka N sa given. Actually, meron. ba diba? sabi natin last time, ano bang pinagkaiba ni A sub N tsaka ni N? Ano? Okay, very good. Si A sub N, siya yung number mismo. Siya yung term sa loob ng sequence. Again, si A sub N, siya yung number o yung term sa loob ng sequence. So dito, titingin lang tayo sa last term. Again, titingin tayo sa last term. So, let us focus on A sub 5 equals 30. So, nasaan sa kanila si A sub N? So, si A sub N, siya yung term mismo. So, ibig sabihin, A sub N is the number 30. Meron ka na A sub N. Now, what is the value of N? Observe that si N, siya yung bilang. Pang ilan. So, sabi di ba? Si 30 yung pang limang term. So, basically, the value of n is 5. Very good. So, now meron ka ng a sub 1, meron ka ng a sub n na 30, at meron ka ng n na 5. So, you can now solve for d. So, ang gagawin, just simply substitute all the given. So, we have this one. a sub n is 30, minus a sub 1 na 6, all over 5 minus 1. So, ano ba ginagawa natin? So, just simply subtract the numerator and yung number sa denominator. So, 30 minus 6, that's 24. And 5 minus 1, that's 4. So, we have 24 over 4. And for our last step, just divide these two numbers and we will get B equals 6. Now, tapos na ba tayo? Hindi pa. Ang meron pa lang tayo is the common difference. Now, anong gagawin kay common difference? Simple lang. Start with your first term. So, simula ka daw kay first term, yung 6. And from your first term, i-add mo lang si D. Again, given yung first term, i-add mo lang ng i-add si D. So, let's start. So, what is 6 plus 6? That's 12. So, meron ka ng 12. Now, to get the next term, just add 6. So, 12 plus 6 is 18. And 18 plus 6, that's 24. And to check kung tama yung sagot mo, dapat yung kasunod tama din. 24 plus 6, that's 30. So, kung tama yung term, o yung common difference, siya ay constant sa lahat, meaning you got the correct answer. So, ganyan sinosolve or hinahanap si arithmetic means. Okay? Nakuha ba? Sige, kopyahin, namnamin, and i-digest. Nakopya na? Sige, let's have our next example. So, for our next example, let us insert 5 arithmetic means between negative 5 and 13. So imagine you have negative 5 as your first term and you have 13 as your last term. Tapos you will insert 5 numbers. So gato itsura niya. Negative 5, tapos limang underline for the numbers na hinahanap and then 13 for our last term. Tapos, papangalanan na mo sila. Para alam mo yung bilang. So, you have A sub 1 as negative 5. Tapos, and so on and so forth. And, our A sub 7 is 13. Now, anong gagawin? Kunin mo yung given. We have A sub 1 na negative 5. And, A sub 7 na 13. Okay? O, meron ka na A sub 1. Now, what is A sub N? Very good. That's 13. How about the value of n? That's 7. Okay? Now, use the formula for d and then substitute. So, we have a sub n na 13 minus a sub 1 na negative 5 all over n na 7 minus 1. Now, observe. We have this minus negative 5. 
So, using the uh, lone integers, so, diba, magiging, ano yan? Magiging 13 plus 5 over 6. Okay? So, that's grade 7 math. Sana alam nyo. And then, ang gagawin? Ang gagawin? Add the numbers in the numerator. Magiging 18 over 6. And, for the last step, just simply divide the numerator from the denominator. So, magiging 18 divided by 6. The value of D is now 3. Tandaan, meron ka palang D. At ano ang gagawin sa D? I-add sa first term. And so on and so forth. Now, we have negative 5 plus 3. Ilan? That's negative 2. Plus 3. Ilan? That's 1. Plus 3. That's 4. Plus 3. That's 7. And plus 3. That's 10. And to check, 10 plus 3 is 13. So, constant sa lahat yung D. So, ibig sabihin, you got the correct answer. Tandaan, kapag yung D is hindi tumama sa dulo, halimbawa, uh, ang next term is 14, hindi siya constant na 3. So, mali yung D mo. Dapat constant sa lahat. Okay? I hope nakuha and the gets. Sige, kopyahin, namnamin, at i-digest. For our example number 3, so same lang naman to, insert 5, arithmetic means between 49 and 1. So same process, you have 49 and 1, so ito yung tura niya, same lang, tapos papangalanan natin, same na same. But this time observe that, yung behavior is pababa, diba? From 49, bumaba going to 1. So paano yung approach kapag ganyan? So, same process, we have a sub 1 of 49 and a sub 7 na 1, apply D, okay? So, a sub n is what? 1. What is the value of n? 7. Very good. So, substitute. So, we have a sub n na 1 minus a sub 1 of 49 all over n na 7 minus 1. And then, subtract, okay, sa numerator, sa denominator, okay, what is 1 minus 49? That's negative 48. All over, 7 minus 1, that's 6. Anong gagawin? Just simply divide the two numbers, negative 48 over 6, that's what? That's negative 8. Now, observe, the value of D is negative. Ibig sabihin, kapag negative, pababa yung bilang. Di ba kanina puro positive? So, kasi ngayon natin puro paakyat. Ngayon, kapag yung D is negative, ang bilang pababa. Okay? So, let's start with 49, tapos baba ng 8, or subtract 8. So, 49 minus 8, ilan? Okay, 41. Very good. Minus 8, 33. Minus 8, 25. Minus 8, 17. Minus 8, 9. And lastly, minus 8. That's 1. Since it is constant for everyone, we got the correct answer. Okay? So, sana nakuha. Sige, kopyahin, namnamin, at i-digest. So, we can now move forward to our last example. Example number 4. Paano kapag isa lang ang hinahanap? Isang min lang, isang number lang. Anong gagawin? So, dito mas madali. Kapag daw isa lang hinahanap, let's say, insert an arithmetic mean between 5 and 13. So, isa lang. So, ano tsura niya? Ganito siya. 5. Okay? Tapos 13. So, isang number lang. So, dito mas madali. Kasi, para mahanap yung a sub 2, just add the two numbers and then divided by 2. So, medyo mas madali siya. Hindi mo na kailangan ng medyo mahabang proseso. Kapag daw isa lang yung nahanap, yung gitna lang, 
gagawin mo lang, i-add mo lang si first term, tsaka yung last term, then divided by 2. Ganoon lang siya kadali. So, we have this one. So, a sub 2 equals 5 plus 13 divided by 2. And then add. What is 5 plus 13? That's 18 over 2. And then last step, divide. Okay, divide, 18 divided by 2. That's 9. Therefore, the number is 9. Hindi mo siya i-add, ha? Siya na, siya, na, siya na mismo yung number. Hindi, mo na, hindi ka na mag-add kay 5. Kasi hindi naman siya D. Siya yung mismong term. Okay? So, mas madali kapag ganyan lang. Add divided by 2. So, di ba mas basic? So, sana na gets at nakuha natin yung konsepto ng arithmetic means. So, for yourself, try to assess yourself. Insert 6 arithmetic means between 1 and 29. And just comment your answers below sa ating comment box. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more lessons and updates sa ating grade 10 math. Okay? So thank you for watching this video and see you sa ating next incoming videos. Thank you and goodbye and see you next time. Again, comment down your answers.